Hello and welcome to Helen's English Center. This storybook that I'm going to be reading to you is about the different kinds of storms and how they are created, how strong they are, and the damage they can cause. Thunderstorm, tornado, hurricane, hailstorm, blizzard, ice storm. The sky fills with clouds. The sun disappears. Heavy rains begin. Strong winds blow. Windows rattle. Everyone runs inside. A storm is coming. Thunderstorms have lightning and thunder. Lightning is the bright flash in a thunderstorm. The flash is an electric charge that heats up the air. The hot air becomes a booming sound called thunder. Heavy rain often comes with a thunderstorm. Tornadoes are powerful storms. They have very strong winds. These winds blow around and around in a circle. They form a cloud shaped like a cone. Sometimes the cloud drops down and moves along the ground. Then it damages nearly everything in its path. Tornadoes are sometimes called twisters. Hurricanes are dangerous wind storms. Winds in a hurricane blow over 70 miles per hour. That is as fast as a speeding car going down a highway. Hurricanes usually stay over the ocean. When they move onto land, they cause great damage. In some storms, rain and snow mix together to form hail. These chunks of ice are very hard. They can be as large as baseballs. Hail storms usually begin suddenly and last only a short time. Still, they can cause a lot of damage. Blizzards are terrible snowstorms. They bring heavy winds and freezing temperatures. Often you cannot see during a blizzard. The snow and wind seem to form a giant white sheet. A blizzard blankets the ground with lots of snow. Sometimes it can take days to dig out of a blizzard. An ice storm is caused by rain that falls when it's freezing outside. This kind of storm is very dangerous. When the rain freezes, it turns into slit. Then everything is coated with a thin sheet of ice. Ice roads and sidewalks become very slippery. This makes it hard for people to drive and walk places. Weather watchers warn people when a storm is forming. They tell how strong the storm might be. They tell when it is coming and where it could hit. People can get ready for a storm when they are warned by a weather watcher. The more people know about storms, the safer they can be. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot from it. Your teacher, Helen. Thank you and goodbye.